uh, familiar with Mr. Clay. As my sister Delegate Jill Carter always says, we have to wash, rinse, and repeat because we can't take uh, for granted that young people that are listening or even some of the elders that may be listening know who, again, the name of Robert Lee Clay is and what he meant and means to Baltimore City in terms of, again, black contractors, minority contractors, black uh, nightclub owners, businessmen, blacks in, the, in real estate because he owned real estate in the city of Baltimore in terms of black politicians, black ministers, black preachers, black imams, uh, and others who benefited, and just ordinary people who benefited from the works and the legacy of a man like Mr. Robert Clay and what he represented. So if you would share with us, because uh, I know at bmorenews.com you did a report uh, this month, or if not last month, recently, on uh, Robert Clay and this investigative uh, report. But talk about and familiarize those who may not be familiar with Mr. Robert Clay.